Hi guys, Ben from Busy Loans. I just wanted to share three really important tips for first home buyers. The first one would be deposit, deposit, deposit. The more deposit you can come up with, um, the absolute better. Obviously, anything over 80% attracts what's called lender's mortgage insurance. So the more deposit that you have, the lower that premium is gonna be and the more lenders you open yourself up to in terms of being able to get an approval. Barring that, then you go to, uh, if you have lower deposits, there are options available, but because they're less, you tend to pay more in terms of either higher rates or higher lenders mortgage insurance premiums. The second tip is do yourself a, a little budget. The way I do this is print off the last three months of your bank statements. Go through all the money that's coming in, all the money that's going out, and figure out what your, where your money's going basically. Because the banks are going to look at this. Uh, and they're gonna go, you will declare what your living expenses are, they will go through your uh, bank statements and determine what your living expenses are based on where your money's going on a monthly basis. And the third most important tip would be to engage some independent advice. Now, whether that is a broker or an advisor, just make sure that they're not tied to any specific uh, entity. What I mean by that is if you are uh, buying a house and land package or you went through a developer who referred you onto a broker, make sure there's no conflict of interest and there's someone independent that will uh, look out for, the, for your best interest as opposed to the best interests of a, of a builder or, or a developer or someone of the like. So make sure you engage someone independent that can give you independent advice so you can make qualified decisions on the best uh, course of action or the best track for you to go down. Buying your first home is a very exciting time, so heed these tips so that your experience is a fantastic one.